All right, good evening, everyone. So, sorry it's been a while since my last video. Been uh, working, been out of town. So, it's not as much time as I want to work on the plane. But um, here we are. Um, this is before I left, actually. Uh, we had to cut out the the inserts for the wing spars on the uh, side skin. So, completed that. And um, getting everything mocked up. Um, there's a doubler plate that goes behind the wing spar, and I guess you would call it a tripler plate. Um, so those two plates, as you can see right there on the table, have to be um, match drilled to the uh, the side skins and um, all of the internal components. Uh, so once we get that taken care of, um, it's then moving on to um, just getting everything primed up and ready for installation. Uh, and here we are. Um, we had to drill, match drill all of the, the laundry on, so um, all the top holes in the skin have to be match drilled into the laundry on, so you have a good tight clean fit. Um, before I did that though, I had to make sure everything was lined up properly and make a few adjustment bends to the front of the laundron. I had a, an angle that was just slightly off, so I had to put it back in the vise and make a bit of a change to the angle there. Uh, once that was done, got everything, as you can see, drilled and fit back in. And of course, everything you do, you have to do in pairs. So you do the left, you do the right. And um, once that gets drilled, take the skins off. Uh, I had to install these nut plates. There's 10 nut plates that go around that triangle opening um, using some pop rivets. And then, as I said before, just getting everything primed up and ready for final install. I also decided to go ahead and prime the, uh, the inside of the fuselage while I was at it. So... What you just saw there was uh, masking up some of the things in the internal uh, in the inside of the fuselage that I didn't want primer on. So spent a little bit of a time masking things up and then uh, priming the inside of the fuselage. And as per the instructions, you have to start with the cherry rivets. So here I'm putting in the cherry rivets and then start with the typical LP4-3s. And then moving backwards, there's several holes that you're not supposed to rivet. So pay attention to the plans here. Um, even on that doubler and tripler plate, um, I guess that's what you would call it, but um, there's several holes that you have to skip over, and then it's just going around and finishing all the rest all the way up to the front of the fuselage, and uh, the front of the longerons as well, not all the longeron holes get uh, riveted in right now, because you have to install the, the, uh, the skins that go over the baggage compartment later on. YouTube. So here you have it. As you can see, we got the left skin put on, all riveted up, along with half of the inside primed. Um, gonna do the other half when I take the other skin off. But um, there it is, all riveted up. We'll finish up the right side and then we'll move on to. Um, the next section so that pretty once I finish the the right skin it pretty much wraps up the section other than doing the vents we have to do the uh, uh, the, the vent but other than that that's it see y'all soon